Charleston, West Virginia A West Virginia lawmaker recorded video of himself and fellow supporters of President Donald Trump storming the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, prompting calls for his resignation. In the video by Republican Dell. Derek Evans, later deleted from his social media page, he wears a helmet and clamors at the door that was breached after Congress met to try to vote to affirm Democrat Joe Biden's election victory. We're in. Keep it moving, baby, he said in a packed doorway amid Trump followers holding flags and complaining of being pepper sprayed. Once inside, Evans milled around the Capitol Rotunda, where historical paintings depict the Republic's founding, and yelled, no vandalizing. Lawmakers from other states traveled to the nation's capital Wednesday to protest the results of the Electoral College. Pennsylvania State Senator Doug Mastriano helped organize a bus ride to protest in Washington but said he left the capital area after the eruption of violence, which he called, unacceptable. A Democratic colleague called for his resignation nonetheless. Alaska State Representative David Eastman, a Republican, said he went to Washington to see Trump speak but told the Anchorage Daily News that the storming of the building was, pretty terrible. Tennessee State Representative Terry Lynn Weaver said Wednesday night it had been an, epic and historic day. She told the Tennessean she was, in the thick of it, but hadn't seen any violence. Hundreds of people gathered in state capitals nationwide to oppose Biden's win in mostly peaceful gatherings. New Mexico police evacuated the State House building as a precaution, and scuffles broke out in Ohio and California. Some demonstrators carried guns in a handful of states. In West Virginia, Democratic Party leaders said Evans should resign and be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. About 10,000 people signed an online petition calling for him to be removed from office, a month after being sworn into a first term. The Speaker of the State House of Delegates, Roger Hanshaw, a Republican, said Evans will need to answer to his constituents and colleagues regarding his involvement in what has occurred today. A House spokesman, Jared Hunt, told the Associated Press that Hanshaw is gathering as much information as possible about what has happened and will evaluate all the potential consequences once the totality of the situation is understood. Hanshaw said in his statement he hadn't spoken to Evans. While free speech and peaceful protests are a core value of American society, storming government buildings and participating in a violent intentional disruption of one of our nation's most fundamental political institutions is a crime that should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, Hanshaw said. Democratic House Minority Leader Doug Scaff called on Hanshaw to suspend Evans' access to the State House and launch an investigation.